If you've wondered what it's like to see St. Augustine from the water aboard one of the scenic boat tours, then this video is just for you. Also known as the nation's oldest city, St. Augustine has an incredible history since its founding in 1565. This coastal town has managed to intrigue and entertain visitors for more than 450 years, and the reason why I keep coming back. If you're driving over the Bridge of Lions from Anastasia Island, you'll be making a left at the light heading north on Avenida Menendez. The St. Augustine Scenic Cruise Ticket Office is located here at the St. Augustine Municipal Marina. Note that there is no parking lot at the marina, but there's parking all around the area that is metered street parking, which is what we did. Do you need reservations? Cruises are based on availability, or if you wish, you can reserve on their website. Adults are $22.50, seniors are $19.50, and children 4 to 12 years old are $10.75 at the time of this video. There are a few benches around the marina. You'll also find public restrooms, a small gift shop, and even a putt golf around the corner. Aboard the Victory 3 boat, guests can sit inside the first deck or there's a few chairs at the very front under the shade but you'll have to get there first to secure these seats. There are plenty of open air seating on the second deck. Note that there are no assigned seating. Guests are free to roam and check out the views from different spots on the boat. Other cruises sail from this marina like these pirate ship themed ones enjoy a 1 hour and 15 minute narrated tour all about the history and rich culture that is St. Augustine. Going under the Bridge of Lions, you'll appreciate the architecture and design of this drawbridge that allows commercial and recreational boats to sail through the center channel. Passing by the Castillo de San Marcos, known simply as the fort to locals, remind me of the years I took my fourth grade class for their field trip to St. Augustine. One year there was rain in the forecast, so I had the kids bring ponchos and umbrellas and it was on with the adventure. These precious ones have finished high school by now and I'm sure many are off to college. If you're enjoying this video or getting value so far, smash the like button. Behold the stunning views of the salt marsh along Matanzas Bay during high tide. It's absolutely beautiful. From the open air top deck, here's the view as we approached the Osina Bridge that leads to Villano Beaches and Ponte Vedra areas. It also passes by the St. Augustine Yacht Club, established in 1873, which is a private, non-profit yacht and social club which I would love to be a part of if I ever get a boat in my lifetime. Here's some more of vessels and yachts as we pass by the Conch House Marina Resort. The Conch House restaurant is also located on this property. Now we're getting really close to the St. Augustine Lighthouse. I love these super long docks that the waterfront homes have. Our boat makes a turn right before getting to Anastasia State Park area to head back to downtown. By the way, if you're wondering, there is a cash bar that serves bottled water, sodas, beer, wine, and small snacks on board Victory 3. Note that the boat also has a restroom, but I recommend you use the restroom at the marina before the tour. If you've enjoyed this video or learned something new, please click like. 
Comment what's your favorite thing to do in St. Augustine that I should check out next. And share this video with your friends. It really does help the channel out. Until next time, my name is Grace Joy. See you in the next video.